Hello everyone, welcome to Cozy How To, your place for a snuggly warm learning experience. This is lesson number nine, and in this lesson we're gonna talk about the new functionality that was added into Equit, in this case, SEO, which stands for Search Engine Optimization. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you wanna do is make sure that you're logged into your Equit dashboard. And if you look on our screen, you can see that we're logged in and we're on the dashboard page. And if you don't know that, you can look at the word dashboard in the upper left-hand corner of our screen, and that will indicate that we're on the dashboard page. So the next thing that you want to do is go ahead and go to the catalog category. So let's go to that and left click on it. And once you click on the catalog option, you'll see that the sub menu is set to products. And that indicates that by default, when you click on the catalog category, you'll be under the products page. So under this page, we're going to select one of the products that we already created. So in this case, let's go ahead and click on the Apple text. And this will take us to the Apple product page and by default will be under the general tab and under this tab I want you to take notice of a few things and the first of them being that the name of this product is Apple and under the description part I want you to take notice briefly of what kind of text is written there you know you can't memorize the whole thing but just try to remember somewhat some of the information that is there okay and the next thing I want you to do is go to the SEO tab so let's go ahead and left click on that and you'll notice that under this tab for the page title, it has the word Apple. And if we go back to the general tab, you'll notice that the general description of the product name is Apple. So it's grabbing the information from here and placing it under the SEO part as the page title. So what Equit is trying to do is give you some kind of default information to have in these fields, and you can adjust them accordingly to fit your particular needs. The same thing would apply for the meta description. The information written here is being pulled from the general tab under this particular area where it says description. So what I would recommend you do is go to the SEO tab and adjust this information based on what you want it to be. But before we talk about that, let's talk about why it's important to have a page title and a meta description because you might be thinking, why do we have to have duplicates of this information? Well, first off, the page title and meta description are different than your product description. Okay, the information under here is directly related to your product when the person is browsing on your website. Whereas the SEO information, which stands for search engine optimization, is how it's going to appear on the Google search engine. So you can see an example at the top here where it has the word Apple written in blue text. That's how it's going to appear on the Google search engine. In the description, you see there is also how that's going to appear on the Google search engine when someone is searching for you or searching for your products I mean so in this case I don't think Apple would be a good title we need to name it something more relevant for when you see it in the search results so maybe you can name it Apple uh, you know maybe we can name it green apple maybe a green granny apple okay because I think that's a type of apple that you can buy uh, in a store so let's call it the green granny apple okay now for that particular apple if you read that description in the Google search results, you would know that you're dealing with the green granny apple rather than just the word apple as a generic term. And also this is going to help you with your search engine optimization. When people type that in, they'll be able to find you in the results. The next thing that we want to talk about is the meta description. So let's go ahead and click in that field. Now in this case, you can see that this is quite a bit of information and if you're thinking about the Google search engine optimization component, you probably don't want to have this much information in here and you can see that at the bottom right hand corner of the meta description box it says 299 of 160 characters used and what that means is that of this of this information that we have here only 160 of those characters will actually be revealed so if you look at the top part of our uh, example of how it will look on the Google search engine you'll see that it has dot 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 after the word tree which indicates anything following after the word tree will not appear in the search engine results. So in this case, I would recommend reducing it so that it fits into that 160 of characters that are usable. So in this case, let's go ahead and delete some of this content and maybe make it a little bit smaller. So you can see now that we're down to 189 characters. Maybe we can reduce it some more. So let's go ahead and delete that. And now we're down to 135 characters of 160. Now I wouldn't recommend writing the description the way it's written here. 
I would recommend entering something that's relevant to the page title. So in this case, let's go ahead and delete all of that information. And maybe we'll call it uh, the green granny apple that we offer is super delicious and organic. So maybe you offer organic produce for your store and you want people to know that it's super delicious. And maybe you can say we never use chemicals on our produce. Okay, and maybe that holds true for your company. But you want to write something that's relevant to the product that you're selling so that it will offer value to those who are searching for you. So translating the value of your product or service into your descriptions and into your titles when you write them for individual products in your store. So that when people search for your product or service, they'll see that value in the description and in the title. And because they see value, they'll most likely click on your link and visit your store. Page title and meta description here is for micro data, quick to the point that will generate value, whereas the general tab is for longer information or macro information about your product in terms of its description and in terms of its title, in this case, the name Apple. Now, obviously the word Apple is not a good title for our product, so we would wanna update that as well. But this video is focused on SEO, so we're not going to update that for this video. So I hope that this video was helpful in giving you a little bit more insight into um, how to use the SEO feature and giving you a good description of what SEO actually is about. And that is helping you to rank and also helping people decide if they're going to click on your link or not when they see it in the search results based on the value that it generates. So if this video was helpful, don't forget to embed, comment, share, and subscribe and stay tuned for future videos. And also, if you haven't checked out our Patreon page, definitely check that out because anyone that supports us on Patreon is going to help us to increase the frequency at which we release new videos. And also, you're going to have access to exclusive content that YouTube viewers will not have access to. Thanks again and have a great day.